comes to summertime, there's nothing better than the flourish of tomatoes in the garden, but also getting the grill out. Sometimes it rains and we have to have the grill on the inside. A bruschetta. It's popular in Italian cooking. Just get some bread. Uh, this bread's about a day old. If you've got bread that's several days old, don't throw it away. Brush it with some water. Pop it in your oven for about five minutes. It'll come back crispy. Take the bread and we want to chop it about a quarter of an inch thick. I like to use a serrated knife for this. Take some extra virgin olive oil. Drizzle, drizzly oil on it, this side, turn it over and drizzle it. Now I've got my beautiful inside grill, nice and hot. I can feel the heat. What I want to do now is pop these on, just popping this on the grill. And feel free at home, you, you can use your external grill for this. Now, what we want to do is take a tomato. Now I'm going to show you something different. A lot of you have had before the tomato bruschetta where the tomatoes chopped on it. We're going to go to the way they do it in Spain. A common way of them having it is just to rub the bread with it. Talking about rubbing the bread, it's important to season it. Salt on one side, and when we turn it over we'll do pepper. So we've got the salt on here, and we've got the pepper. I'm fortunate using the indoor grill that I can actually just close it and that's going to do both sides at once but at home about two minutes per side what you're looking for is that caramelization bread when it toasts has a caramelization the sugars get toasty and that's where all the flavor comes from so by using the indoor grill we've got both sides done it takes about two minutes now here's the part what really separates the professional from the domestic cook at home I've got a garlic clove and I've peeled it what I'm doing is just chopping this in half slicing the garlic clove as soon as it comes off while it's warm be sure to take this it's going to be hot if you if you find it too hot for your fingers use a, a pair of tongs rub the actual piece of bread with garlic rub it both sides just rubbing it on and you get the smell already and it makes these garlic breads fantastic now that tomato or the tomato what we got taking that tomato and we're just going to put the tomato juice on there most of the flavor actually in a tomato is where all them seeds are so we're not wasting it you can see there's not that much left just rubbing this side and when I first saw this being made in Spain I was like I don't quite understand this but when I had it goodness gracious next thing you want to do now is get some of the gorgonzola piling the gorgonzola on there this has a great flavor lots of umami that savory taste in this fresh basil just break it apart don't be too pretentious spending hours and hours enjoy your company and enjoy your friends just little pieces of basil on each one and I say little pieces because you don't want every bite to be the same it's nice when you get a little bit of floral it's nice when you don't get a little bit of floral I'm not gonna add too much salt because the cheese is naturally salty I'm gonna take some freshly milled pepper always use freshly milled pepper don't use the stuff that was pre-ground in 1969 and then what we want to do is a little bit of honey we've got the cheese in there this will work so well a little bit of honey comes on top of this and there you have it all of the ingredients come from your local grocery store you can make this at home within moments please do make it make it for your friends and your family share the love until next time i'm john ashton this is my beautiful delicious gorgonzola bruschetta cheerio for now